let's say I want to improve my WeWeb app, giving it more capabilities off by fetching, I don't know, external data coming from a backend, basically. To do this, I would use a plugin. To find plugins, you go here, and then you've got several types of plugins. Data sources are the main one. Basically, it's all the plugins that will enable you to pull external data inside WeWeb. So at the moment, you've got Airtable, REST API, Google Spreadsheet, and others, but many more are to come, and if you want more, don't hesitate to ping us uh, in the community, in the chat, in the, you know, on feedback.weweb.io. We'll uh, watch what you want and add it hopefully really soon. Then you've got the authentication with Auth0. So basically to add um, authentication capabilities to your app, get the current user, get some content, add the sign up or the login button, stuff like that. You've got also e-commerce with Snipcart to add payment uh, payment and card system to give your uh, web app some, you know, e-commerce capabilities. And then you've got JavaScript libraries. So we only have charges at the moment, but many more to come. For example, we'll soon um, add, um, sorry, Stripe, Algolia. So really JavaScript libraries that normally should be for developers that we are bringing you in a no-code way so that you can use inside the editor. So to add a, a plugin, it's really easy. Let's do this with Airtable. You click on it, you click add and then you just have to configure it. So here I have to get my API key. I have a small text to help to help me find it. And it really depends on the plugin. So for Airtable, it's only an API key, but for example, for a REST API, it could be with the endpoint, the key. For authentication, you have to do some kind of work, but everything is always written here next to the, um, the settings. And that's it.